look at this John. Looks like two steam pistons off of, off of uh, stern wheeler. You, you look at that stuff and you think, how did it get there? Like, why would it be there? I would always be coming out of the house and you, you ha had no choice but to look at the boats on the ways and uh, you could hear the trains and the working of, the, of them yarding the box cars and the freight cars and there was activity going on all the time. It was always interesting as a young person, you'd always look over and you'd see it all and it was always close to me to see it all go and have nothing here at all. I think it would have been really sad for McMurray. I had heard they were going to uh, either sell the ships or scrap them, but they would be definitely leaving Fort McMurray. I thought, you know, once they're gone, I guess they're gone forever. We'll never see them again or have the likes of them around. And I felt that we could organize something somehow, somewhere to keep them and put them on display. I was a member of the Fort McMurray Historical Society and uh, I brought it to the board's attention at one meeting one time. And most of the board members felt the same and uh, it just proceeded from there. All of a sudden, we ended up with some ships, and uh, next thing we, we had to do is, well, where are we gonna put them? While well, we're looking at some Artifacts, possibly artifacts belonging to the marine part of the shipping of this area. Either modern or very, very old. It's hard to say at this point, but it's definitely old. There's a tremendous amount of rust. Well, I'll see if I can find anything in our records that kind of matches uh, any kind of description of this. Otherwise, I can put it on um, a database, see if anybody knows what it is, and then we can go from there and kind of research more on on what it could have been and when it went missing or, or when it was uh, abandoned. Yeah, I get a good, good picture. I can't see any numbers. We don't find stuff very often. Uh, it's rare. It's tremendous the amount of history that has come through here. And we have some of the best, oldest historical sites in this area. And most people don't know they even exist. It's important, it's very important that we, we maintain it and, 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 and tell the story. So we took a bunch of photos of the artifact in question here. Um, then we sent them off to an internal network uh, through all the museums in Alberta. Uh, we actually got confirmation um, from that as well. Uh, it's looking like it's a steam engine part to the paddle wheelers that used to run along the clear water. So we're actually going to go ahead and take that out and uh, bring it to the shipyard and it'll be part of our collections from here on out. Okay, well, it's going to get dark here so we should get her out of here anyway. Do we got to get that out of there? Well, what we're doing today is we're going to pull it out and try and secure it, get it out of the water, away from the, the mud and the possibility of it freezing in if it, if it stays cold and, and we, we don't do nothing with it. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to pull it apart from the crack. We're a little bit concerned here, to, but once we get it moving, we'll see what happens. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, we'll get everybody up the hill. And then one person stay here, and then one person halfway up just to flag me. Now, suck her up. She's coming. Take her up. You know, you don't have history, you don't have, you have nothing. You, you, what, what do you tell from the past? 
It's important for people to remember exactly what happened here. And the only way to do it is build structures and, and parks like this to display what had actually happened. I talked to my friends that helped me and they're still around today and yeah, we're all happy it's here. And, and I hope the people of McMurray are too. It's just been one of the greatest things, I think, ever. I can't describe it other than that. Helping us out today, we have Ro uh, Robbie's Towing, which have volunteered their services to help us remove this. And uh, we have Peter and Leonard Hansen uh, also helping us. They've come down and volunteered their help and time. What does that mean to you to have those guys come and help us? Oh, it's great. Anytime you get help like that uh, to, to help preserve, especially an artifact of this nature, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to have them for sure. Yeah, can't, can't, can't appreciate it enough.